Well, good morning, folks. We're doing a proper winter ride this morning. Temperature's about minus three Celsius. Yesterday I went for a ride, it was about minus nine. So today is <laughs> positively warm by comparison. The purpose of today's ride is uh, I'm testing a new battery, 48 volt, 20 amp hour. And it's a plug and play. It plugs directly into the rad uh, rack or whatever you want to call it. Same plug, same attachment, Samsung cells. So yeah, extra range at a price that's uh, a little bit more affordable than an OEM battery. Comes with a charger and whatnot. But we'll get into it now. So I bought this battery and gives me about 40% more power than, than the original. It's really nice. It's got a USB port, a nice digital readout, which gives you percentage as well as voltage. I had to move the cradle uh, by about one millimeter because it's, it's a tight fit on the Rad Rover 5. But I'm really happy with it. It's from United power pack and the lady I dealt with, Sophie, was very helpful. I didn't want a high speed charger, I wanted a regular 2 amp, which she did, no extra charge. Um, yeah, it's really worth it. I think a 400, just over $400 shipped free. Of course, with the bigger battery, I can afford to be a little bit more generous with uh, pass usage without worrying too much about the range. Based on how I ride in the summer, I expect to get about 120 to 150 kilometers out of this battery. In the winter, not so much, maybe 100, less than 100. You know, I expect to lose about 20% or so because of the cold and because of my generous pass usage. So yeah, the battery, uh, I ordered it towards the end of October. It was probably less than three weeks. It was delivered to me by UPS. I was provided with a pack, uh, tracking number. Packaging was very good. The quality of the product, um, construction and so forth is very good. It uses the same keys that RAD uh, batteries use. Same principle, key goes on the same side. Charger is the same, not the same make, but has the same connection on the other side. It's just got added features like uh, USB port and the readout, like I said. And you have an option of batteries to choose from. You, there's the Chinese no-name batteries, they're the cheapest option. LG batteries, which is a little bit more. And the most expensive is Samsung. You know, I went for Samsung. Why? Well, RAD has been using Samsung cells and they've been good to me. Would I recommend this battery? So far, I mean, I've only, it's only my second ride. <clears throat> but based on the specs alone, it makes sense. There's no rewiring, there's no changing out the, uh, the cradle. You can use the standard cradle, and then of course you would have an extra one which you can attach to your wall anywhere. Or sell it if you want. Um, yeah, it literally is charge, plug it in, go. 
So, battery weight. The standard battery is 3.55 kilograms. I'll put the pound equivalent on the screen. And the new battery is just over one kilogram more. So, yeah, density wise, you're getting more energy for less weight. You're getting 40% more energy, but it's not 40% heavier. And it puts nicely, as you can see. Yeah, I'm excited about it. It means I can reach out further, possibly do some bike touring. Time to get ready for the uphill.